Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. So I've been seeing a lot of videos about this 100K per night hotel room that's allegedly looking like trash. I say allegedly because I don't want to get sued by any of the Hard Rock or whoever the hell owns these hotels. But anyway, I'm going to be checking out a couple of these videos. I've been seeing Cody Co. I just saw Court Reezy do a video on this. Yes, I am a Reezy. I'm curious to check this out. So we're going to be looking at here's a tour of the world's most expensive hotel room. This is a hotel room. I'm sorry, but what's going on with this guy? This? What is that? <laughs> I'm like, do you have a condition? Do we need to be concerned? And not just any hotel room, but rather the most expensive hotel room on the planet. Definitely not. At a cost of $100,000 her night. Okay, so I already don't like these little polka dots. You could buy a nice house in Phoenix or you could stay here for a week. <laughs> what is so funny? It's located here in the Palms Casino Resort in Las Vegas and today I'm going to take you on a tour of it. Oh, that's your name. Okay, dog. We don't need any more of a tour. Thank you so much. This is called the empathy suite. That is exactly what you're gonna need. But as I stand here in this entryway, you're probably thinking, it looks kind of dull. Until you look over there. And then you That's see weird. some sharks. What the hell is that? Okay, I don't want any damn sharks by my room. I don't care if they're real or fake. I think those were once baby sharks, so that kind of makes me really sad. I'm very sad right now. Another interesting thing to see right when you walk into a hotel room. $100,000 per night and you're gonna give me at least put like a Jaws shark in there, I don't know. Walk into the empathy suite and turn to your left and then you see a medicine cabinet, which seems oddly placed until you discover that it too is a piece of art. I don't care who the art is from. That is ridiculous. What do we have in here? Gavastan, Anadin. What the hell is this? I didn't come here to be involved in medical terminology. I came here for the pool and the 24 hour butler. Above the bar, you have these marlins and these glass cases, which is a really cool look. <laughs> Now we have like a bleached fish. Although my personal favorite art piece is next to the dining room table. It's this wall of pills. That's your favorite thing in this whole room is your wall of pills. <laughs> yeah, this is going to get demonetized. You can see there's just pills and pills and more pills. I see those omega threes. And yes, this hotel room has a bar. And I can tell you right now that your hotel room doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, Doug, you don't know if my hotel room doesn't. Actually, I do have a bar. Thanks, Duncan. This video is not sponsored, but I wish it was. Take a look at the top of this bar. It's medical waste. These aren't used medical supplies, but you do have these medical gloves and there's even a syringe or two in here. A syringe? Okay, I, I need a moment. One eternity later. I'm fine with the extra mask because, you know, we do have a little doula peep situation. Doula peep. Going on here right now in the world. But maybe if like things were different colors, I don't know. I just really don't care for it too much. That's just me. Comment down below. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you think it's cool? People at the Palms told me it's a rather controversial piece, but I think it certainly looks interesting and more exciting than just your standard bar. It is controversial. It is. And as you can see, each of the seats has a little pill on the back, again, continuing the theme. I'm not going to lie. The pills were cute. At first, I was like, really? The pills? And then I said, wow, okay. Maybe I am liking this hotel after all. I'm terrified. And next up, let's move back into the living area for one of the great seating areas of all time. I counted and you could get 30 people on here comfortably. That couch is cute and the little butterflies on there are actually really cute. I do like that couch. If I had like some Ariana Grande money, I think that's a really cute living room minus the pills. It has these swings, which are nice and fluffy. Those swings are so nice and fluffy. So cute. I love it. Gotcha, bitch. The only thing that's really scary about these swings is that they could kind of fall from above. But other than that, it is worth the risk. And swing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually addicted to Doug's laugh. Doug's laugh is enlightening. <laughs> Doug's laugh shows you it's really okay to laugh. And I appreciate that. Thank you so much. The whole point of a place like this is you use this space to hang out, have a party, be with your friends, whatever. You don't exactly need seven bedrooms in here, but apparently you need many, many seating and relaxation areas. This place is pretty much to hang out. It's not really to sleep. It only has two bedrooms. So that kind of sucks, especially for the price. But if you're going to throw a party, that's pretty cool for a night with the butler and stuff. So I think this would be a great place to have a party. I think that is a conclusion we have come to. I have seen enough of this hotel. What do you guys think? Would you stay here if you could? Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, bye. Ooh.